Y'all think I forgot? My tarot readings, my weekly horoscopes are only meant for people that are smiling. So if you're not smiling right now, honey. <laughs> I love you. Let's go. My beautiful Virgo, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, Virgo, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because that is how I keep up with you, is through the comments and let you by you letting me know how the tarot cards resonate in your personal situation, honey. Uh, also, if you do enjoy this tarot reading, Virgo, or you just enjoy my vibe, I would really appreciate it, Virgo, if you were to take the extra step to give me a like and subscribe because it does help me out a lot and i always am super appreciative when you guys take that extra step to do that for me uh also remember though virgo i'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you honey you know your situation better than i ever possibly could so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because i'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever virgo i don't know what that was uh, i believe my cards are here just to give you some food for thought a perspective for you to consider virgo but never making the choice in your life because it's your life to live uh, <clears throat> so let's just now get into your reading honey i just want to see pull a card to see where it is virgo you guys are currently at in your life how it is you're feeling you know where it is you are at what is it i mean let's see two of earth two of pentacles so you guys are weighing out some choices virgo uh, this card says too much going on at once, the need to make a decision, considering a more playful approach. So Virgo, with this situation here, I kind of get this feeling, I mean this is just intuitively Virgo, uh, but I do get this sense here of uh, <clears throat> almost as if like you have to weigh out a decision on disappointing somebody. It does feel as if like a choice that you want to make in your life uh would be really good for you but this in a sense uh stressing somebody else out or impacting someone else or like having to you know drop the ball for someone else right it's just a thought um the other choice would be the other option would be just like choosing to pass up because i do feel like it's passing up on something right passing up on like an opportunity um passing up not investing energy into something further trying something out dipping your toes into just something because i just saw someone dipping their toes into something it's not really something i wanted to see is someone's foot right now but uh we'll take that uh but it's almost just the sense of you having to you know let's see let's pull some cards here ace of wands yes i'm absolutely correct there's something that you could start putting energy into but before i get it carried away velka can you put it down let me start getting these other cards in here honey the eight of wands virgo Ooh, honey you can pull me back because let me put these back up we have the page of pentacles in the reverse you're gonna make me mad, Virgo. You're gonna make me mad because this is what it is that you're juggling with. Two of Pentacles again coming in for you, Virgo. You and I need to have a talk, honey. You and I need to have a talk because there's this really good opportunity that you could put energy into. It's something that you have to dabble into, right? You have to just trying it out, right? Maybe you're not going to be successful in your first time around. Maybe it's going to be like a flop. You don't even know. You don't even know yourself, but you want to try it out. But there's this resistance here with this page of pentacles. There's something that's causing you to just like... Again, you're just juggling with it. You know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm being too optimistic, Virgo. Maybe I'm putting the blame on another energy where you don't want to disappoint something else. But maybe you don't want to put this sense of responsibility on yourself, Virgo. Maybe you're intimidated by the idea of uh, tapping into and being a trailblazer in whatever way that looks like in your life, right? Whatever this is, if this Ace of Wands, this is you have a very powerful, strong idea in your mind that you're just like, I could really put energy into this, right? You could really put energy into this it would be really good for you virgo but with this page of pentacles in the reverse there's something that's there's some resistance and trust and believe virgo i'm going to be getting some cards on this i want to know what's going on here um there's this resistance here and this is what's having you whatever is affecting this page of pentacles um making it inverted that's what's making you juggle this i want to get more detail eight of cups in the reverse you all don't want to walk away from something, Virgo. 
there's something that scares you and having to put moving on from home. Huh? Page of Cups, yeah, to welcome in new energy. You're gonna have to let go of something else. Queen of Wands in the reverse. This is why. Mm. And then the Four of Swords. So it's not such a black and white situation for you, Virgo, which I always can already imagine for you. But there still is a situation that you want to just, that you're clinging on to. And I know you know that you're clinging on to it. You're in the situation, Virgo, where you don't want to go out into the unknown, right? You want to stay at your Eight of Cups. Normally, Virgo, when this Eight of Cups is in the upright, this is a situation of being in like a situation, right? Where it's like, uh, you know, you have eight cups, but like you're choosing to like realize you're like, you know what? This isn't fulfilling to me. You want more than just eight cups. You want your 10 cups, right? Choosing not to settle. But in the risk of choosing not to settle, uh, you have to go out into the unknown and be like to go out and try to find those 10 cups. You don't know if you're going to get those 10 cups, right? You, you know, you have to take that risk. You're going out into the unknown. And that's why the moon is highlighted here as well, Virgo. You don't like the, that's where you have to take that risk. So because it's in the inverted for you, you're scared of that risk. You're intimidated by doing this, right? Right? You have this page of cups. You would have to, this page of cups comes in where, again, this is under your eight of wands energy, Virgo. So this is a sense of where it's like, whatever it is that you're picking up, honey, like it's very, not only is it very good, but it's completely new energy. But you would have to leave this old energy. You would have to make space to let this, this new stuff in, Virgo, right? And I told you, I wanted, I was going to look into this a little bit deeper, Virgo, because I'm, come on now, with this page of pentacles in the reverse, which is causing you to just juggle, right? And I pulled this queen of wands in forward for you. Now, this is, could either be a person or this could just be you, darling. Um, this is a situation of where something of just, of, you would associate a lot of disempowerment with. You would associate with, mm, this is a person that doesn't think in terms of passion, doesn't even understand passion, does, thinks that passion and the creative side and all of that is a waste of time, is not something to sink energy into. They don't relate to it. There's something with this, this is just squashes anything of any type of like wishful thinking, right? They don't even believe in wishful thinking. They believe in, they don't believe in any of that, right? And with this four swords coming in here, this is a energy of healing. This is an energy of needing to put a closure to this two of pentacles situation. But how do you do it, Virgo? What is the T? right? Why do you allow this queen of wands energy present in your life? Are you the one manifesting this, right? Are you the one that has just more of the cynical nature about life that doesn't believe in uh, having faith in something and just hoping that something works out, right? And having just that hope be what ignites you enough to just push forward and really uh, challenging yourself in this some way, right? Uh, it, could, it could be so beautiful. It could be so beautiful here, guy be so beautiful so what well, let's do a best case scenario for this spread shall we Taurus let's let's uh let's entertain this idea of if you were to go forward with this energy what would happen right because I think that's that's an interesting way to that's a, really the purpose I feel like with the tarot for this situation is seeing what would you know what would like what happens if we entertain that idea Right, so let's see. Three of Pentacles. Contracts come in, darling. Contract. You know what? Before I get ahead of myself, let me just get these cards in. Taurus, spoiler alert. That one's going to be real good. We have the Devil card in the reverse. Come on now. I just realized I called you Taurus. I'm sorry, Virgo. <laughs> uh, you know I get crazy whenever I start really. Eight of Cups in the upright. All right, now we're going. So, if you even look up the meaning of these cards, you'll know that I'm not just like blowing smoke, um, right? Up your knee, you know what? Three of Pentacles talks about this. I is just a card of collaboration. It's a card of signing contracts. And notice, there's a person, there's an individual standing above everybody else, which is the signifier, Virgo 
of uh, an energy, something that you look up to in some way, something that you would be extremely hopeful of, you know, someone that this is very much so a collaboration, you know, with someone that that you may feel like is out of your league, right? Very much so just like very surreal moments, right? I feel like you would have a lot of very surreal moments with this experience, right? And the devil card coming up in the inverted for you, you address the devil, right? You get rid of whatever was this queen of wands in the inverted for you. It's no longer relevant in your life and controlling your life so hard, uh, Virgo. Whatever this is, it's taking a real damper on your life. And I know it's really controlling you right now, but there's this sense of just needing to heal from it, right? This, until you address this devil, it's gonna remain in the upright for you, I feel, with that queen of wands in the reverse. And that's what's really blocking like that three of pentacles energy, this, these contracts, right? What is it that you need to do? Right? I mean, we had the Eight of Cups in the reverse for you for getting more detail on this before, Virgo, and we have this now in the upright for you. So this is an energy where you would eventually, you know, you, this confirms to me, Virgo, honestly, that you know that you need to walk away. You know you need to walk away, and it's now, the ball is in your court, essentially, right? The ball is in your court, um, what it is that you're going to do right but you you need to walk away there's not a question of like no ifs ands or buts there's like you you need to walk away from this situation it, this is more so a question virgo of when is it are you that you're going to make the decision to start prioritizing uh your life your passions and feeding you know giving your chance giving yourself a chance really is what it is when are you going to start giving yourself a chance virgo the devil coming in here still with this four of pentacles. This is quite literally blocking your investment, uh, Virgo. And this devil just keeps coming in here straight up. Yeah. This devil, as I was just saying, like this devil feels like is what's really putting, like impeding you and really having this flow of energy in something. It does very much feel like this devil is like a dam in your river. This four of pentacles, when this is in the upright Virgo, this is a card of like make, and I always at least say, it's like investing in stock into a situation. And so when it's in the inverted, this is exactly what this devil is doing, right? And this is what this, pur this is the purpose of this devil. Wheel of Fortune, uh, to close this energy off. Yeah, this is like, in, in order for you to like get these the wheels turning in your life again, you have to address this devil. Virgo, you have to address this devil. So ask yourself the question, what does this devil represent? Is this a person in your life? Is this a habit that you exude, that you do, right? What is this devil? Is this an environment thing? Is this devil, you know, what is your devil? I feel like once you figure out the question to that, or the answer to that question, and finally truly address it, I feel like most of you already know, to be honest, Virgo, you already know what the devil is, and it's one of those things that you kind of have to just, like, make the choice in, like, um, walking away from it, right? How long has this been a struggle in your life, Virgo, that you've, need, that you've been needing to walk away from the situation? And this is a question I want to know in the comments below if you want to talk about it directly, but you don't have to, right? So now, Virgo, let's see what's going on for your love and social situations, your relationships in your life, Virgo. Because remember, we have more than just romantic relationships in our life. We have uh, work relationships, family, friendships, you know, co-workers. We have all sorts of relationships in our life, not just the romance, honey. So let's see what's going on this week for you in your social situations. The release card, number four, the numerology, Archangel Azrael, Azrael. If you're open to working with Archangels, Azrael is one to connect with this week in terms of learning how to let go of a situation. I believe in normal tarot, it's the death card, um, to be honest, Virgo. Uh, but this card says the end of a situation or phase, spiritual transformation, and it's time to move on. So Virgo, from the general portion of the reading, this is just seeping into this aspect of it as well, where now, um, now for you, 
this is really honing in on a person that you need to let go. This, that was like the question, yeah, Ten of Cups. But it's an intimate situation to you, probably. It's probably someone that you've kind of kept in your life for a while, for a long while, in your inner circle. Eight of Wands. But for some reason, they have such a strong presence in blocking you off. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, Virgo, I don't mean to be repetitive, but at the same time, I mean to be repetitive, truly, in the sense of where there's just someone that, like, you know you need to let go of, but the choice is hard. It's hard for you to let go of it because it's so intimately attached to your energy. It's so close in your inner circle. It's so... But it's just, it's what's blocking you off from being able to grab up opportunities for you to be able to open up to new contracts, Virgo, truly. And that's just like your biggest, uh, you have to figure out how you can uh, let go this go, uh, Virgo. How does this have such a strong hold on you? Why does this have such, such a strong hold on you? It's just crazy that it's coming in through this and so strongly throughout your entire reading, Virgo. It's like ace of wands just coming in like these cards are just following you you have to just, just you have to at some point virgo i don't know i'm gonna be, be honest here i don't see your situation improving anymore if you were to wait this out um it's one of those things where all your cards are just setting up to be virgo a situation where it's like you just have, kind of have to take action at some point and until you take action like nothing's really going to change i feel i feel like that's just like a Oh. <laughs> yeah, three of cups in the reverse. This is just like very much so honing in on a situation of just like, there's some type of situation, some person in your life that I don't feel like is very conducive to being you. Like it's very much so just like a heavy energy that you somehow, or not somehow, for some reason keep in your life. That you need to let go of. But um, closing that off, we're gonna take that as you will. Uh, now let's get into your financial and career situation this week, we're gonna let's see what's going on there. Ace of Fire, come on, Drago. Your entire reading just formulates and just show like breaks this down all again for you. Ace of Fire is the Ace of Wands in normal tarot, Virgo. Like, girl. <laughs> this card says an exciting new opportunity, career advancement. Change your life now. Notice it's the part that says changing your life. Notice that you have to make a change, Virgo, to allow this energy to come in. Virgo. I hope I'm I hope my aggression is coming forward with this because it's just like I could tell right I could just tell right off the bat Virgo your reading was gonna piss me off right I could tell right off the bat it was gonna piss me off because this is just like a you have such a good opportunity presented to you Virgo and there's just something that just really like makes you doubt your claim makes you doubt your passion makes you get in your head and it just bums me out man Six of Wands, Three of Wands, Knight of Cups. Girl, this is where all your good cards are coming in. Notice, like, uh, social situations aside, darling, and then we just get into your passions, we get into your finances, honey, and it's all good things, right? Six of Wands is that spotlight card. You're being noticed. This is the card of just straight-up victory, uh... Virgo. The Three of Wands is the card of like like really obtaining your breadcrumbs, I always say, like and the breadcrumbs in your life being like finally like getting hints of like what it is that you're working towards, right? You're finally like it's kind of like the universe tossing you a bone almost, right? And then the Knight of Cups is being presented to you. This is like literally it's just like opportunity after opportunity just coming towards you, Virgo. But you have to be in this energy of being able to receive it in the first place, right? I do just feel like your career is just somehow so impacted by some type of relationship that you have in your life. Page of Pentacles, new communication. There's just like a bunch of notice how all this energy is just new. Knight of Cups tries to come forward again for you. All this new energy. The sun card, like Virgo, all your cards, positive when it comes to this, man. Ah, so, so passionate. So, all right, Virgo, I want to close this reading out for you. I hope you found some tarot cards that resonated with you in this weekly horoscope. Uh, if the, you did, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Uh, if you would like to book a reading with me, I always have my website down below. It's just simplyvelka.com. 
All my social medias are simplyvelka.com. If you have a friend, Virgo, that's into tarot, or, or even if they are not into tarot, rather, honey, uh, send them one of my horoscope videos, and maybe they can find a message that resonates with them. I love you so much, Virgo, and hopefully I can connect with you sometime in the near future.